Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Kekaleo, and welcome back to some Minecraft. Now, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the binary number generator that I did in my Minecrawler map. So, yes, let us begin on that. Now, the first thing when actually learning about the binary generator is how binary works. Now, I have a little one thin setup on how this works, and it's basically going to drop a iron sword or a sponge into there. And what happens is if it drops an iron sword, into this hopper, it'll be pushed back down and it'll output a signal of three because an iron sword is an unstackable item, whereas the sponge is. And if it outputs the sponge, it'll only output a signal of one. Now, if what happens is right here, this little system is to show you that it's going to either output true, which is the sword going in there and outputting the three signal or false to where it'll output one block and then it'll uh, say false so each one of these say true or false so if we press this it is randomly selected false randomly selected false again false again wow there's a lot of false positives here but yes there's a finally true false true and so on and so forth now i made more of a a three stack together version right here and basically what this is is the actual binary now how binary works is basically it takes all of the numbers that are inputted right here and if it is true for the number such as this is number one if number one is true then it'll take the number and throw it up here and then if number two is true then it'll take two and one and it'll combine them together to make three now it would go one two four eight sixteen etc like here 16 32 and it will combine them all together if they are only true but if they are not true it won't combine them together so let's say a binary output we will add one that is two so the binary number would be two of course and if we do another one four do another one that's two and one so that equals three let's do another one so that would be two one and four which would equal seven so that would out that would have output as seven which is all three of them now, if we actually come over here, this is 15 of them put together, and it is just an entire redstone line of 15 blocks, and it goes from one, two, all the way really, really far. So if we actually push this button, you'll see it did a lot of them. 128 plus eight plus one plus 16 plus 32 plus 256 plus 1,192 plus 16,384 plus 4,096. And this right here can actually generate up to 32,700 and 67 different numbers right here. That's a lot of numbers for just a pretty small compact area. But the thing is, when it is generating, it is quite difficult to determine, actually, it's quite difficult to split up all these numbers. So you'll have to build something like that, which I'll get to in a second. Now, also you can do this. It doesn't have to be straight to command blocks. You can output them to redstone torches, which would be one, two, four, and eight. So if we press the button, We'll see that 8, 4, and 2 turned off, so 8 plus 4 plus 2, which would be 14, so that would equal 14. If we press it again, only 4 turned off, so that would equal 4. Press it again, 8, 4, and 1, so that is 13, and so on and so forth. Now, what you can do with this is, this is the actual design I used, which all, all those are too, but this is a more realistic design compared to the other one. Now, this one actually has the decoder as well. So it will decode the little numbers that are put in there. So if I press the button and sometime we'll get that is nothing or that is a number, but I didn't encode it yet. That's number two. Yep. There's number one. Oh no. Number one's on the very right. Two's in the middle. That's that would be four. There's two again, four, that's six. That's one. And how this does it is if this is equal to true, then this will just fill in this entire area right here. It'll fill in the area accordingly right here with redstone blocks. And it's basically, I'm using relative coordinates. So each one of these will do a relative coordinate right here. And it'll choose whether to fill it in. And then it goes into a command block with eight ticks in order to fill the entire thing with air. So that is what this does right here. Now, another way to decode it is you could use command blocks and scoreboards. So I use scoreboards right here, binary, or it adds a bi to the binary score, it adds one, this one adds two, and this one adds four. So we have a clock right here, which we can actually 
activate. So this is a continuously fast clock. And this will test for a score of a minimum of five and a maximum of five. So we can actually create the objective here. And if we punch this a couple times, we may see it activate as five. There is, I think, eight different numbers. Yeah, there we go. Keklo has five points. And then it'll output it and have it say, say at P score five has five points. And we can remove this. All this is is a set block command that destroys set block to air and kill the entities. So yes, I hope you learned something out of this and I will see you in the next episode. Later.